Passion Jesus 31 Here is the man, 4 minutes. English Traduction, corrected by Peter Gavigan, of Passion Jesus 31. Here is the man, Eki Homo. What does this word that Pilate had said when Jesus, clothed in his collarbone and crowned with thorns, arrives again, during his trial, before the Jewish people? Here is the man. It is evident that it is in the word of God that this word that Pilate spoke, saying, here is the fellow. Come on. Release him now. Is a prophecy. Here is the man. Every man, sooner or later, inside him and even outside, will be reduced to this same state, as Jesus had endured. Jesus says it, the Son of Man, that means, ourselves, has no place to lay his head on the earth. Ah. We may make ourselves a temporary dwelling, buy it move into the house, draw up guarantees, full of security. Sooner or later this is taken away from us by sickness and death. So also for Jesus, therefore, who is God made man. He is the image of life of every man who passes upon the earth and not only at that time. He will also be present with his resurrection. This concerns, how he lives here, how he dies here, and obviously in view of eternal life otherwise this existence would not make any sense. Then, some may say, but it is not true. There are men who have nothing but joy on earth and who die brutally without ever having suffered. So there is therefore an unfair fate. It's not the image of man, that man crowned with thorns and dressed in a scarlet clovid. These people are mistaken because they only look at the first rung of the ladder of life, what we see of the earthly life but, consider also to the seventh heaven, paradise, the beatific vision, nobody, nobody escapes the acquisition of a broken heart, of a humiliated spirit, like says the Bible, on this earth where I will scatter you, I will create for you extinct eyes, a trembling look, unsure hands, in Deuteronomy. This means that these sufferings have a meaning. They are not to crush man but because, whether lived internally or lived externally, in this world, nor in purgatory after death, they aim to create for us a heart dead to itself, absolutely necessary to see God. In paradise, for those who accept at some point to enter into this mystery, all men, all angels are individuals who compete in smallness one before the other, humility. Why? Because everyone will have lived their martyrdom, their time, either in this world or in, purgatory, the next. It means that our own enemies, when we want to take revenge upon them by saying to ourselves, at the time of death I will take revenge, we will no longer have such an idea, because ourselves, having been touched our misery, we will welcome to them as brothers in our misery. And if they are still in purgatory, they will have only one idea, that will be get out there quickly, so much so, the suffering is terrible, that they quickly reshape their hearts in humility. This radically changes the way we look at revenge. There is no longer revenge because the man is in the image of Jesus here, in purgatory.